And today's session is um, obviously great if you are pregnant. Um, it's going to be fairly gentle on the core, um, but it's going to be ramping up intensity on the glutes and also the shoulders as well. So let's start with a little bit of a glute stretch. So come down onto your mat. We'll start off in our standing position. So we're going to start in a four point position. Sorry, let me just pin myself to the top so that when it records, beautiful. Um, come down into a four point position. And what I would like you to do is I'd like you to slide your left knee forward and twist it across your body. So you are hooking your um, foot, your left foot behind your right knee. And then you're going to just sink those hips back, just stretching out through the back, stretching out through the glutes, just encouraging them to open up. Add a little rock forward and backwards. A little rock side to side as well. Just really encourage that knee to open up. And then change over to the right side. So Pull your right knee forward, hook your right foot behind your left knee, and do the same thing. We're rocking backwards and forwards. And then a little rock left to right as well, little twist. Encouraging the hips to open up. And then coming back into a four point position, push yourself up into down dog. So tension through the belly and drive those hips back. Stretching long in the mat, push the shoulders through. So we come to the way out of the studio. Just walking through the calves, walking through the backs of the legs, and then walking the hands up towards the feet. Coming into a nice little hand, feel free to keep the knees bent and soft. Just a little swing left to right. And then drive those knees out. Press the knees apart. Come into a nice little kidney squat. And really drive your elbows against your knees. Take your right hand down to the mat and lengthen out through the left arm. Adding a little spinal twist here, and then change over to the other side. Left hand comes down, right arm goes up. Stretching through, and then walking yourself forward onto your mat. We're going to start with a little bit of shoulder stability work. So with this um, with this block, depending on um, how intense you'd like to feel it through your core, you can either be up into a full on your toes, high plank position, or you can be down into a knee position, so knees 30 centimetres back or so from your hips. Or if you are further along pregnant, you might like to take that box shape. So the choice is yours. I'll start off on my knees and then probably progress it on. What I want you to do is we're going to start off with some scat push-ups. So we're going to take our chest down towards the mat. Keep the arms and the elbows nice and straight. Sink the chest through and pinch your shoulder blades together. And then push the floor away, round with the top part of the shoulders only, as you round and separate those scaps apart. Then sink the chest in and then round them through. So you can be up on your toes if you'd like in this position. It can be down on your knees. Three more. So just encouraging the shoulder blades just to really spread apart here. Two. One. And then tension onto the belly as you take the right arm and tap the left shoulder and then take it back down to the ground. So just warming up the core here. If we want to go for it a little bit more, we're up on our toes. Opposite side. 
tapping onto the shoulder, trying to minimize this within the hips. So your choice, depending on how strong you're feeling, you're either up on your toes or you're down on your knees. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Then we're gonna take the left arm and pull the elbow into the side of the body. We're gonna extend out long to the side of us, sweep it around our back and then spread it back underneath us, change to the other side. So lifting up, extend long, wrap behind, come back down. So I have already done quite a bit of core this morning, which is why I'm on my knees. If you're ready for it though, you're up on your toes, you're extending out long, you're wrapping behind the back, coming back down. So the choice is yours on this one. You come in wherever you feel like you need to come in. So the elbow pulls up, the arm reaches, the arm wraps behind the body, you come back down, beautiful. Elbow in, arm reaches, arm behind, and back in. Good work. Two more. Just warming up those shoulders. Beautiful, strong arms. Last one, beautiful. Rock backwards onto your heels. If you are pregnant, take your knees a little further apart. You're going to angle yourself forward and take your hands behind your head. From this position, we're going to sweep the arms out long like we're drawing a big circle. And then we're going to wrap both of them behind the small of our lower back. Then we're going to reach back around to draw that big circle up, take it back behind our head, fingertips touch. So really getting the shoulders working this morning, getting a nice little sort of burn. Really think about moving from the backs of the, the, the middle part of your back, trying to squeeze your elbows open as wide as they can, just getting them moving. Pretty normal if they are a little clunky. Three more. Two. Lengthen out through the back, last one. Join me with your hands on your ears and then from here you can sit yourself back so that you're in a kneeling position. If it hurts on your knees, just sit however you feel comfortable. We're gonna close those elbows in together and then open out through the back. Beautiful, working through the shoulders, trying to really increase the range, keep the elbows up nice and long. It's amazing how your own body weight can sometimes feel so hard. <laughs> Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, beautiful. Angle yourself forward again. Take your arms out to the side of your body. And then from here, we're gonna come into a prone cobra. So I want you to face the backs of the hands up. And again, if you are pregnant, take the knees further apart. We're going to roll those shoulder blades back out and through. Thumbs go up towards the sky. We're really spreading out through the wingspan. Rolling the arms back in and taking them back down to the ground. Rolling out, opening up through the chest, back down. Let's go for 10. Really focus here on lengthening through the arms. Nice, slow contraction, so we're really feeling that deep burn in all those little small muscles that make up our shoulder joint. All the rotator cuff muscles here are working, they're activating, they're firing. Five. Four. Three, 
two, and one. And then take your arms out in front. This is the last exercise in this little leaning forward series. That thumbs want to start facing up towards the sky. Little lean forward once again. And we're going to lift those arms up. Beautifully extend the arms above the head. And come back down. For 10, nine, really think about the movement happening from the underside of the shoulder blades here. Relax the neck. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Slide yourself forward and come down onto your elbows. From here, we're gonna start working into the glutes. So, Draw your attention over towards your right leg. Feel free to move your left leg into the center of your body. We're going to extend that leg out long and we're going to lift it in line with our body. So because we are on that nice little diagonal position, we also need to lift the leg up a little higher than where we'd normally place it if we were up on our hands. Swing the knee underneath us and keep the leg back. So the knee bends as the leg straightens we really extend it through. Feel free to add a little point of the toe, making sure that you're keeping your spine nice and straight, nice and neutral. We're not hiking through the back. We're using our glutes to get the leg up nice and high. Excellent work, girls. You're looking good, looking strong. Squeeze the glutes. Just find your own little rhythm here. Unfortunately, I can't have music on in my end, otherwise YouTube doesn't let me upload, but feel free to add music on your end. Get yourself into a little groove and let's work hard. So let's go two more of these bent leg extensions, force kick one, two, and one, and then keep the leg long as we take the little toe down to the ground, tap it and drive it up and come down slow, slow, slow. Tap, lift and squeeze, down. Two, three, lift and squeeze. Down, two, three, and lift. Two, three, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, three more. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, beautiful. From this position, I would like you to brace with your right arm out to the side of your body and your left elbow can stay down onto your mat. From here, we're gonna slightly turn our hip out towards the right side and we're gonna swing that leg forward and then swing the leg back. So the leg needs to get held up nice and high in this position. Play around with your hand position wherever it feels the most comfortable for you. We're starting off with nice, beautiful straight legs, moving that leg forward nice and dynamically. Really feel that stretch, feel that burn in the side of the glute. Go for three, two, and one. This time around, we're gonna hike the knee in like we're doing a little fire hydrant, and then we're gonna drive the heel back. So feel free to flex the foot on this one as we pull the leg in and then drive it back. So changing around the foot position, the rotation of the hip allows us to target all different parts of the glutes. We've obviously got the glute knee sits to the side of our hips, great for stabilizing the hips. We've got the glute max, which is great for power. That's the bulky part of the glute. The glute min that sits to the very top We've got an internal and external rotators as well. All of those muscles need to work, as well as a little bit of inner thigh, a little bit of hamstring, all very, very important. For three, two, and one. And then come back up onto all fours for me. The leg is just gonna come straight out to the side as we finish off 
this glute exercise in this little series. We're going to lift the leg out and then take it back down. Can we add a little hold at the top? Look up, hold, two, three, and down. Lift, hold, three, two, one, and down. Excellent work, girls. Lift it up for three, two, one, and down. Two more to go. And three, two, one, and down. Last one. And three, two, one. Beautiful work. Feel free to shake those hips out however you feel like you'd like to. Add a little rock, add a little roll. Just pushing those hips back, just stretching it out. Now let's get ready to work that other side. I'm just going to roll myself over on my mat. Put my belly back in. Get your elbows down onto the mat. And let's draw our attention over towards that left side that we're going to be working. Feel free to reposition the right knee. We're starting with that beautiful bend and extend the glutes. Excellent. Feel free to point that toe, legs nice and long. As we stretch up, really lengthen out through the whole body. Amazing work, girls. Just find your rhythm. Make sure that you've also got your core on. So your belly should feel like it's just got that gentle lift. Be careful we're not dumping into the shoulders, lift out nice and strong across the back. Two and one. Straight leg now, take that toe down, lift it up. Coming down, three, two, one. Tap the toe and squeeze the bum for three, two, one. We're controlling it here for three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one. Drive it up, controlling it down. Tap the toe, lift as fast as you can. Extend that leg long. Two more. Last one. Brace yourself back out onto your left arm. Right elbow stays down. We kick that leg long and then we turn that leg back. Feel free to add a little twist of the body so you can move yourself in just to help your leg really come forward in that position. Excellent. Is the belly on? Is the core lifted? Is the bum burning? That's the question. Mine is. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. From here, just trying to remember if there was another exercise that I've forgotten, there could be. I believe we're gonna be doing our side lifts. Hands up, feel free to tell me if I've got this wrong. Just had a moment of forgetting if there was something else in between. I'm not sure if there was. What did we forget, Ash? Ah, yes, bent leg. I knew there was. I knew I had a feeling. Sorry, pull that knee in and drive it back. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I forgot something. Beautiful. Drive it in, drive it back. Push the knee in. You almost got away with these. I knew someone would remember them. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hands up. Get onto your um, four point position. We're coming into those just normal fire hydrants here. We're holding at the top for three seconds, making it a little bit harder. Lifting up, hold for three, two, one. Bring it back down. And if you want a little extra challenge, 
the opposite hand comes to the small of the lower back. And that just reminds us that we need to stay nice and balanced. Hold for three, two, one. Bring it back down. Jeez, my ass is on fire. Hold for three, two, one. Back down. Two more. Up for three, two, one. Back down. And lift. Three, two, one. Beautiful work, girls. Let's give everything a little rock and a roll. Let's break out those glutes. We're going to focus back in on the upper body once again. So we're going to start with just what would look like a very normal push-up. You can either be on your toes or on your knees for me. Your choice. The choice is yours. So coming to a four-point position, walk your knees back 30 centimetres or so. Slide the hips underneath you. And then from here, we're going to take our body down to the mat, tap the nose, and drive straight through. We're going to do five normal push-ups here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Reposition yourself. Get your left leg up into the air. And then from here, we're going to take the whole body down to the ground, slightly forward and bring the elbows in a little closer. So we're doing executing a nice little tricep push-up. Elbows tight to the body, and then we drive away. For five, four, three, two, one, change over to the other side. Let's lift up through the right leg. Same thing again, drop the nose down. For five, four, three, two, good, last one. Excellent. Take your hands wide again, back into that normal push-up position. We're going to come into a Spider-Man push-up. So it's really up to you how you like to do these ones. If we're doing our push-ups on our toes, what we're going to see is we're going to offset our hands just slightly. So I want your right hand to be slightly forward, your left hand to be slightly back. And then from here, we're going to bend the arms. We're going to tap the elbow in and drive back up. We're then going to set the arms out the other way. Now, if we're doing these on our knees, feel free just to watch just for the moment. Stay on your knee, come down, reset. All right, we're going to aim for four each side. So whichever option you're going to take, either toes or knees, awesome. They're very challenging. So let's walk our right arm forward and our left arm back either up on the toes or down onto, up on the toes or down onto the knees. Yep, got that right. Getting ready and let's go. So for one, switch it over. For two, switch it back. For three, switch it over. Four, we're halfway. Five. Six. Seven, last one, team. Eight. Amazing work. From here, come over and onto your side for me. Let's work a little bit through our core before we get back into those glutes. So, legs out nice and long. If you are pregnant, these are perfectly safe. If you're in your first or early trimester, like me, you can still be doing a few ab exercises. It really becomes an issue when your belly gets a bit bigger and everything needs to stretch. It's best to avoid. These are perfectly fine. So squeeze the legs in nice and close together, nice and tight. We're going to come into a double leg lift here. So we're going to lift up and hold at the very top. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. So you can either lift just the legs or you can lift the upper body. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, back down. Making sure that you're pulling in through the navel 
for five, four, three, two, one, back down, lift up for five, four, three, two, one, and down, last one, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go double time. So we're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So the hand at the front is just there to guide you guys, just there to give you a little bit more support. Don't feel like you need to over rely on it as you push your body up and off the floor. Excellent. Five, four, three, working the sides of the waist, two, and one. Bring your elbow back in underneath you. Coming either, into either a modified side plank position or legs nicely stacked. We're gonna push those hips up and off the ground. We're gonna start with a hold here. So remember, if that's a little too much, we can be in a modified side plank instead. On the knee, top leg extended or both legs stacked on top. Really is, the choice is yours. Push those hips forward. We're holding for another 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven. Lift the hip up higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that elbow, drop it down, lift it back through. Nice little rotations for five, four, three, two, and one. And then from here, we're gonna drop the hip right down to the ground and then push back up for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down, swing yourself over to the other side. Let's work the other side. So arms nice and long, here onto bicep, hand raised to the front, legs squeezing together, double leg lift. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one, back down. Lift and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, back down. Good, looking good today, guys. Three, two, one, three more. Lifting up for five, four, three, two, one. Two more to go. Lifting up for five, four, three, two, one. And down, last one. Up for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Double time now. Let's lift and then let's lower. Excellent. So again, be mindful how much you're needing to push through the hand at the front. Try and mostly drive up, use your own strength through your waist, pull in through the navel. We've got five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Come and bring that elbow directly underneath your shoulder. Either modified plank or fully extended. We're starting off with that nice little 30 second hold. Elbow directly underneath that shoulders and we're pushing the feet up and off the ground. Another 20 seconds. Keep squeezing high. You've got this, guys. Body's going to feel nice and long and strong today. You've gotten it moving. Another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the hand to the ear. Let's twist it out for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Hips lower, hips lift for five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, stay on this side, come back down, pop your ear onto your bicep or alternatively, you can also prop your head up if you prefer. 
fur as well. We're going to just slightly bend the base leg and we're gonna start working that top thigh. So we're gonna lift that leg up. We're gonna make sure that the leg stays relatively neutral. So don't roll it out, don't roll it in. We're gonna hold for three, two, one. And we're gonna come back and hold it just hip height for three, two, one. Lift it up for three, two, one. Drop it down for three, two, one. Lift it up, three, two, one. Drop it down for three, two, one. Lift it up for three, two, one. Drop it down for three, two, one. Three to go. And down. And up. And down. Last one, and up. And down, and double time. I'm gonna lift that leg and take it down for 10, nine, eight, seven, kick it up, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the leg back and kick high, and let's just start tracing some little circles. Really try and lock your hips and your upper body. Rolling the hip around for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and reverse it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amazing. Just swap that leg over the front. But add a little twist. So take the opposite hand to the knee, twist yourself back, just hold on to that leg. Give the glute a little stretch and love. Beautiful. And then pick yourself up. Let's roll over to the other side. So from here, you can prop yourself up if you prefer, or you can be right down, little micro bend of that bottom leg. We're going to lift up, keep the leg neutral, hold for three. Two, one, drop it down. Three, two, one, lift it up. Three, two, one, drop it down. For three, two, one, lift it up. Three, two, one, drop it down. Three, two, one, lift it up. Three, two, one, drop it down. Three, two, one, three, let go. And up. Tell yourself that you can and down. There is no quitting. There's no dropping that leg. As much as I know it's burden. The last one. And down. All right, we've got double time for 10. Can we do it? Lift it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, ten circles. Let's go. Belly in for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo wee! Cross that knee over the body and roll it back. Oh, good Lord. Hello, glutes. Hello, thighs. Maybe Vernon. Roll yourself over onto your back. We are almost there, team. You are doing so well. So if you are pregnant um, and you are nervous about being on your back, Feel free to do these ones on an edge of a couch. Um, otherwise, just trust how your body is feeling. We're obviously not down in this position for very long. Um, so if you prefer, you can have your back up onto an edge. Um, otherwise, let's get into it. So shoulder blades underneath you, tuck those hips up, and then roll back down through your pelvis. Tuck the hips first, squeeze straight up, and then roll back down. 
Now we know that the book is pretty, pretty switched on by this phase. So let's like make it a little harder straight off the bat. Let's add in a little pulse at the top. So you're going to get those legs up. You're going to drop it down, drive it back up to the ceiling and then full pulse down, tap the bum, drive the hips, little quarter pulse and down. Uh, let's finish it off. Making sure you're keeping constant tension on your glutes the whole time as we're pulsing up and we're dropping the hips right down to the ground. Keep going for me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your legs quite wide on your mat. Let's keep going with those little pulses. Lift the legs up, pulse it out and drive it down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your legs back into a neutral position wherever you feel comfortable. Girls, we're going to finish off with one minute of little pulses at the very top, and then we are done. We're going to stretch it out. So get those hips up, and let's just pulse through little movements, just the hips dropping slightly and the hips driving up. If your back is getting sore, make sure you squeeze those glutes even harder. All right, it's really important you don't let the back take control of this exercise. We're pulsing, we're pulsing, we're doing this together. This is the last exercise of the day. We are halfway there, we have 30 seconds to go. Keep pulsing out. We've got this, we are so strong. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Beautiful, we've got 20 seconds to go. Keep going. Squeeze those cheeks, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop those hips right down to the ground. Feel free to give your knees a little wide from left side to right side, and then let's stretch it up. So um, if you are pregnant, I'll show you another stretch that you might prefer to do instead of this one. Otherwise, put on top of the knee, little figure of eight stretch coming in and hugging that, um, that foot in. If you are pregnant and you're following along with this exercise, this stretch, sit on the edge of a bench, a couch, um, a chair instead and pop that foot on top of your knee. Sit up nice and tall. So you've got to imagine I am sitting on a couch here and just sit up nice and tall and really hug the knee into the chest. Um, just a much easier way to navigate the stretch without having to have a belly in the way. Otherwise, figure of eight stretch is perfectly a-okay if it feels good for you. Amazing work, girls. Hold for a little bit longer. Hold for another 10 seconds or so. Just encourage the back to flatten out against your mat. One, let's change over to the other side. Get that foot on top of the knee. Reaching out and through. Excellent. And then just rolling yourself up. Tuck one foot into the body, one foot out. Let's come into a little side stretch. So take your, um, your right arm over towards your left knee and just reaching up and over, getting a beautiful little side stretch through your waist, reaching up and over towards your toe. Reach your toe power to you. Obviously a little bit of a way off. 
reaching up and over, getting a beautiful stretch out through your back. And then take that same foot across the leg, hug that knee into the body and then just stretching out and around. Good, change over to the other side. Lengthen out through the left leg, tuck the right leg in, press down on the left arm and reach. So press down with the right arm. I don't know, opposite sides, reach for it. I've got my left and right a little confused at this stage. Reaching up and over towards the toe. Try and press with that opposite hand down towards the knee. Encouraging the hands to try and get towards the toes. If it can reach. And then take that leg, wrap it over the straight leg. Opposite arm wraps around the knee, sit up nice and tall first, and then twist it around. Awesome girls, I'm going to stop recording over on Zoom.